Rolling with Nick Cannon on New York's new 92.3 Now. So, like when my wife and I announced that she was pregnant, uh, there's reasoning behind trying to keep things private and not wanting to give out too much information, you know, before our, our situation. We, in the past, we actually had... Uh, the miscarriage, which we talked about quite a bit and shared that with the world. And I felt like at the time, and we both kind of felt at the time, that we only wanted to give out so much information because that's what, you know, the doctors uh, advised and just certain things. And then out of nowhere, everybody start questioning about more things. Do you know what it's going to be? Is it a boy? Is it a girl? Are you having twins? And then that just took off and went really, really far. And that was the question. I felt like I almost couldn't avoid that question anymore. And people became fascinated with that. For what reason? I don't really know. And and it's the thing right now. Like, I don't feel like, oh, I need to make an announcement or have another announcement. Because that's not what it's about. It's not about making announcements and talking to the press. But I do feel that in order for my wife and I to have our life and be able to live our life and I feel like we need to be up front and I need to be able to share things with you and be real and come true and come from the heart and right now I'm probably I don't even I haven't even told my wife I was doing this so I'm probably gonna get yelled at Mm. for not getting permission Uh, But I just have a a very interesting story. On Friday, you will see my wife perform in front of the president and the first family for Christmas in Washington. And she started off her performance. She opens the show with a song that she wrote called One Child, uh, which is... Kind of ironic. The song is called One Child, and it's a it's a festive holiday song. And she even speaks of how she was inspired by writing this song and being pregnant and it being about a child. And as we know, Christmas is about the birth of Jesus, one child that changed the world. So as she's singing this song, and she goes backstage and... She has, you know, it's the whole show going on. She has the opportunity to speak with the president and the first family. And she wanted to talk to, they actually even, (laughs) ironically enough, questioned my wife about, you know, uh, so what are you having? Are you having twins? And she had, at this point, she hadn't told anybody anything uh, because, like I said, doctors advise that we keep it to ourselves until we get further along and stuff. And because of the excitement, because of the emotion, she was overwhelmed. And she shared with the president and the first lady that we are having twins. And I knew it! You, you, you ain't going to let me finish the story? Well, gonna congratulations, start Congrats, <laughs> gone. <laughs> Thank you. And and, um, I think just that excitement, just being overwhelmed in that moment and being able to tell somebody about that in that special time and saying that we even will be able to share that story with our children, that the first people or person that your mother told that you guys will be on this earth together was the president of the United States and his wife. Wow. So that's an awesome story to be able to tell. And again, just saying that, I feel like it's not like it's, it's an announcement and everybody and, oh, you slipped up here and you slipped up there. It was something that, you know, at certain times during your pregnancy, you're not supposed to say certain things and you're not supposed to talk about certain things. And that was something that we were advised to kind of keep close to ourselves. And now that, you know, we actually had another ultrasound uh last night and everything is a-okay both babies are healthy in tip-top shape the doctors were extremely happy we were extremely happy so 
There you have it. That is wonderful news. I can't believe you told the president of the United States over us. I mean, he's only the president, Nick. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> and it wasn't me, actually. It was my wife. And I'm probably going to get in trouble for telling you this now. Yeah, But <laughs> I felt like I needed to share it with you. She got to share it with the president. I'm sharing it with you right here on 92.3 now.